Hi, I'm Kathy Hansen, and this is your weekly video to have my strategy in your back pocket. And this week, I want you to walk away with the confidence that you can take action and make things better for yourself with these six steps that I have about this common problem. What's the common problem? How many times have you ever been in a meeting and you feel like you're talking past the person? You're not really on the same page. How about, worse yet, you feel like you're on the same page, you felt like you got a lot accomplished, only to get back to your desk and you get an email where things have been outlined and the expectations and the objectives are different from what you thought. That's a time and energy waster, isn't it? George Bernard Shaw said, the biggest problem with communication is the illusion that it has taken place. Uh-huh, yeah. I think he had a video camera in my kitchen when my husband and I are trying to figure out what dinner and a movie we're going to go see this Saturday night. I swear we figure it out and we nail it down and he's always asking me where are we going and what are we doing. I think that's the biggest problem in communicating. So I have come up with six easy steps for this to never happen again. Or I shouldn't say never happen again. I should say this really will reduce how often you waste time and energy on miscommunication or the illusion that has taken place. Number one, I want you to go into every single meeting and be ready to listen and be curious and ask questions. It's really important to make no assumptions when you go into a meeting. Number two, I want you to actively listen. Yes, they've now added a verb in front of the verb listen because listening isn't listening enough. You have to actively listen, meaning participate, ask questions, just like in number one. But what you have to do is you have to collaborate on these decisions. Okay, that's number two. Number three, I want you to set clear expectations within the meeting and agree on them right then and there. Okay, so nobody's walking away with unclear or troublesome or things that have to be worked out later. I want you to save time and energy and money by setting clear expectations. Number four, write it down. Number five, write it down. Number six, write it down. Number four means I want you to go into the meeting with things written down. What do you want to have happen? What is the timeline? What are your expectations? Number five, write it down during the meeting. So many people don't take notes during the meeting about what was said and then you're relying on your very busy full brain to remember what was said. So you write things down in the meeting and then number six, you write it down in an email. You clarify for everyone involved, this is what I understood our objectives were. This is what I understood our expectations and timelines were. That will help you never have to waste time and energy on clarifying communication. That's your back pocket strategy for the week. Make it a great week. And if you want more help with this or any other subject, head over onto my website, backpocket.biz, and I have simple tools over there for you. Make it a great week.